Hello, hello, everybody. This is Gurmias bringing you friend Bo. Uh, if you ever, if you haven't been following the demo of this game, it is basically a um, very creepy point-and-click adventure game, and it has a it has been having a lot of coverage since the past I think two years, ever since it was announced. And its demo was really amazing, and now the full game is out. So I decided to give it a try. So without further ado. Let's get started. Everything's fine. It feels like heaven. Oh, that's nice. But it's not gonna be nice soon. I see my parents. They look happy. They have a present for me. I wonder. So sweet and pretty. <laughs> Dark as the deepest night. It's Mr. Midnight. My best friend. My only friend. Oh. We are having dinner and I see Aunt Grace too. I really like her a lot. It's Friday. My parents are going out. <laughs> Look at Mr. Midnight. Aunt Grace takes good care of me. We are having so much fun. <laughs> it's Monday night. I'm playing with Mr. Midnight. But something feels real bad. Oh, hi, demon. A strange creature outside my window. I don't like it. It scares me. Well, yeah, it has huge teeth. Suddenly, I hear something. It's mom, screaming. I want to know what's wrong. A bright light shines from my parents' room. I go closer. And closer. Mom? Dad? Please don't. Oh shit. Mommy? Daddy? Wow. Yeah, I would run away too. Oh, the house is bleeding. Oh, Oh, Mr. Midnight. Oh, no, 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 don't go, Mr. Midnight. Oh, <laughs> Look at her. <laughs> Look at him. Oh, Uh, who are those people? Oh great, it must be like demon cultists. Friend, please follow my voice. On the count of three, you will wake up. One. Two. And we're awake. Three. Fran, how do you feel? I feel like dying. <laughs> I feel like dying. I don't understand why you make me do this. Try to calm down. This is part of your recovery. My parents are dead. Recovery? Don't you get it? My parents are dead. Oh, poor thing. Everything will get better. I promise. Better? Then let me go. That would be better. You should not tell me how to do my job. But now, I have something for you, Fran. Well, what is it? What is it? See the desk? There's a little package for you. It's from Aunt Grace. Take it. Oh, well, okay, doctor. I will. This was my mother's purse. Aww. Open it. There's something inside. Is there? I, oh, okay, I'll examine it. My bad. 
Dearest Fran, here is the purse you like so much. I thought you would like to have it. When I was thinking about you, I remembered that you would like to examine objects and combine them with other things. So I hope you'll always keep this purse and give it all and give it and all the other things you find a good use. <laughs> Never forget creativity is absolutely the greatest gift you can ha you have. Love, Andres. So we just got our little tutorial in the form of a letter, that's cool. She's worried about you. Aunt Grace? Well, another reason to let me go. Well, don't worry about her. She's fine. Can I leave? Can I go to my room now? Yes, you can leave, but before you do, it's time for your new medicine. What medicine? It's called Duetine. It'll make you feel very relaxed. Nurse, we're ready. Hi, nurse. Anything new today, Dr. Dearn? Nothing, actually. Same visions as before. Oh, I see. Here, friend. Take your medicine. But I don't want to take my medicine. We don't, <laughs> we don't have all day, friend. Take the pills now. Fine! If you're gonna be like that, I will. I, t I took it, right? I don't feel good. Oh sh! Oh, it's raining my parents' heads and demons everywhere. Oh no! Take her back to her room. And nurse, don't let her take this ever again. Well, good job, doctor. I trust you completely now. And your pills. Beware, front bow. If you leave the house of madness. I will hunt you down. Catch you. And bring you back to insanity. Oh, and I'm crying blood, that's not good. Ah, Mr. Ridnet! Friend! Pick up! The medicine will help you escape. I'll be waiting for you in the forest. I love you. I love you too, Mr. Midnight! <laughs> Come back! Aww. Well, now we have to get out of here. Chapter 1, My Sober Day. So that was a very creepy start, obviously. Uh, I don't know if actually Fran murdered her parents, but... I mean... To go all ninja assassin with just a knife. I mean, did you see how decapitated they were and like whole, how dismembered they were? I don't know if Fran would be able to do that. But let's wake up. We'll find the answer soon enough, I guess. Uh, I'm still here. Hideous place. I have to get out of here. Yes, we do, so... Let's get up. Um, locked. Good reason to get curious. Uh, that looks... I will get your nose, I will get it. Why is there a picture of a very creepy-ass clown in a mental hospital? History. The patient was found near the Oswald Asylum. Showing psychos showing of uh, signs of psychosis. The Bo Degenhardt family tragedy. Details omitted. Treatment. Dr. Marshall Dearn has tried different medications and all have been cancelled because of side effects. Well, yeah, I, I would call the raining of heads and, you know, other bloodshed more than just side effects. But, okay. Whatever floats your boat. Red and tiny, you are hiding from me. <laughs> Hate the monster. I, I don't like him either. I have to find Mr. Midnight. I have to find him now. I miss my kitty. He hides because he's afraid. He told me that the medicine would show show me where he is. Yeah. Well, we kind of knew that too. But alright, let's go. Oh. I creepy ass nurse. Is there anything here? Empty bottle, empty glass is nothing useful. Towels? I don't need towels. Well... I mean, you could, maybe. You say that. Oh, it's all boarded up. I can't see through the window. Oh. Looks like a playground for Alcatraz or something. Jeez, so creepy. Hello, Fran. Good to see you're awake. How long was I asleep? Three days, maybe. Was it the medicine? Was it the medicine that made me sleepy? 
Yes, it was the medicine. That's why you're not taking it again. <laughs> I, I, I'm not gonna tell her Kitty told me to take it because she's gonna think I'm crazy. Well, I kind of am. All right. Yeah, I'm gonna go. <laughs> uh, can I look at some? Oh. Oh, let me grab the hook because that might actually be useful. Yeah. <laughs> no, hold on. How do I? How do I get out of the inventory thing? Okay, there we go. Oh, I was saying something about Alcatraz, and behold, the gaming gods have given me Alcatraz. Is that a tower? Tower defense. <laughs> we have you appraising gold, gold fan. <laughs> why, why does a child's mental institution need a tower defense? What are you gonna do if I try to escape? Shoot me? Do they have a rifle up there or something? Oh dear, a secret box. Shh. Okay, that's nice. I hope somebody loves you. Uh, I don't think that kid loves it too much, because, you know. I used to have a blue dress like yours. History. The patient came to Oswald Asylum with his mother, Rachel Bronstall. The boy has developed paranoid behavior. Paranoia not yet diagnosed. Treatment. Daily de treatment with Dr. Marcel Dearn. We have not achieved the patient's trust, and he refuses to be questioned. What about this chair? Can I question it? If I sit down, I'll eventually get up, so what's the point? Well, I mean, you could say the same thing about everything else then, friend. Oh, what a Mr. Horse! Are you having a good time? I don't think he is. Let's go talk to Phil. Hello, Phil. Hello. Hmm... You do know the way out, right? There are many ways out. But everything's locked. Yes, but you do know that everything is locked. Indeed. But the office is the key. What do you mean? The office? What do you mean? I saw the doctor write a secret code. A secret code? To open the yellow door? He doesn't want me to tell you. Who? Him. Oh. What, 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 what? Oh, shit, hey, no, no, no. All doors are closed. You are a prisoner of my game. And nobody will help you escape. Well, thanks for, you know, the douchebaggy warning. Leave me alone, I hate you. Yeah, I don't like that thing either. You just... Mommy, Daddy, I need you so much right now. No, I won't let that monster stop me. Damn right, friend. Hell yeah. We got this. Uh... Hmm. Anything here? No. Alright then. Uh, so we have a secret box. Can I use it? Oh! A key! This will er certainly open something. Uh... Just a tiny key with the drawer. Yeah, wasn't it locked? Yes, yes, I got it! There's something inside! Oh. Hang on. Oh, look! It's Mr. Midnight! Oh, my dear family, I'll guard this with my life. I miss you so much. I really need you here with me. Yeah, that's probably true, friend. Uh, I have a... what is this? My hair clip. I should give it a good use. Oh, hang on. Uh, I probably need something with it, though. So, hang on. Can I make this nurse go away? Because I would like the stuff on the desk. Oh, friend, yes, we had this conversation. Uh... Mm -hmm. Three days, so many. Can I seriously? I, I need to make her get away. Was it the medicine? Yes, it was the medicine. That's why. I, I did something. There we go. Lady nurse, I did something. See, you're nothing but trouble. What is it? Uh, I I actually broke the curtains. I was trying to look outside, and I accidentally broke the curtains. <laughs> Accidentally, I have to fix this. Follow me. Can I get the stuff now? Oh, okay, yeah. Can I get it now? She would just go crazy if I touch anything. Uh, okay, fine, I'll, I'll go to her and, I don't know, kick her or something. Something is missing. Have you seen the hook that holds the curtains up? Nope. No, miss. I haven't seen anything. Well, I have to go find something to fix this. You little... Girl. 
Oh, you wanted to say something else, didn't you, lady? Oh, yeah, I know you. But now I'm gonna rummage through your desk, so perfect revenge, bitch. Uh... Ooh, band-aids. I'll keep these patches to stop blood. Ew, <laughs> coffee. Violent trauma can have a great impact on children, totally changing their normal lives. For example, children damaged by trauma can have mild to severe deficits in some abilities such as trusting people near them, seeing the world as a safe place, making decisions, etc. Because of these effects, some traumas can lead to several symptoms of major mental illness. <coughs> For example, not trusting other people or not feeling safe in the world. This can be interpreted as paranoia. And here we have a very nice diagram of the brain. Cool. Uh, holy shit. <laughs> Fran Bo Dagenhart. The patient has been sleeping almost all the time. She only wakes up to drink water. But I don't think she remembers that. After drinking, she goes to sleep again. She hasn't been social for three days now. Some kids have come around and... What? And asked about her, and when she would come and play, uh, come out and play, do a team. Documented, blah blah blah. The nurse's handwriting is awful. Yeah, I, I, I imagine how I feel trying to read that. I, under, I understood more than that, but Fran sleeping and do a team. The nurse's handwriting is awful. Yep. All right. Uh. Oh my goodness, this is terrible. Why would the nurse add this? She wants to kill us all! I'll leave it as it was. I really need to get out of this place. I think this is where the medicine is, but it is locked. Uh, so about that gun, I'm I'm really hoping that, you know, she will use it on herself rather than us. But you never know. What is this box? Hide. Oh! Hang on. It was... H was 8. H was circled as 8. Wasn't it? And then I would be 9 then. Uh... Then this would be four and five, I guess. Oh, there we go. The pills. Kitty told me these would help me. Yay. Uh, yeah, they also make the world go all bloody and demonic. Oh. <laughs> so yeah, that's happening. Oh, you got a little blood on your mouth. Are you okay, friend? I don't think it's okay. No, not at all. Oh. Excuse me, lady nurse, this may be very useful. What are you talking about? Get out, creepy creature. I think it's there to stay, Fran. So, let's go back. Oh. Uh, oh, are you sleeping, sweet bunny? Yeah, Fran, it just decided to, like, lie in the pool of blood for, you know, relaxing reasons. What is all this crap? Who did it? I don't know. It wasn't me, though. Where did the clown go? I don't know, maybe inside that dark room, but hold on. Oh. Those look like very meth-addicted demons right there. Crying blood. Oh. Oh, is that my head? Give me my head back, please. Just go away, you weird creatures. Is that supposed to be a symbolism for, you know, demons holding, uh... Fran's head? Like, they're making her insane? I guess, I don't know. Whoa, everything's getting going so blurry. Let's go down to the secret basement. No, absolutely not. You can't tell her that. But she has to know. You can't keep me away from her. The reason is more clear than clear, Grace. No, it's not. I want to take her home now. You can't. Franz's mental condition is not appropriate yet. Well, that sucks. What? Who's killing all the animals? Poor fox. Was that real? Oh dear, Aunt Grace. I wonder what she has to tell me. Doctor has no soul. I'm going home tonight. Well, I mean, oh, uh, oh no, Foxy Fox, don't cry. It's dead, friend. I don't think it's gonna cry anymore. It was not me. Blood stuff. Find him. I will. I'm trying. Thank you for you know the blood suggestion, but uh, oh, kid, you look really bad. Oh shit. So, why are you looking at me like that? You terrify me. <laughs> me too. To happiness. Yeah, I'm gonna trust the wall painted with blood to find my happiness. Yeah, that's, that's... Oh. I'm sorry, dear. I didn't mean to do that. 
I'll try to put your head back. I don't think it works like that. So I'm sorry, I can't help you, Mr. Deer. Uh, hang on, can I use this on the door? Because I think it was locked, isn't it? It fits, but there are two holes. I need something else. Oh, hold on. Uh, combine. This. There we go. Now we're picking locks, Skyrim style. Or, oh. Uh, what? The hell was that? What was that? Uh, yeah, my sentence exactly. Daddy was not heir. Mommy would not care. Okay, that's a very creepy rhyme, but thanks. Oh. What are you doing to her, demon? Shade. Why do you look like a fabric doll? <laughs> Even the purest of things die in this place. Tiny, tiny hands all over you eating your soul. Fran? That's very creepy. Why do you say things like that? Where'd the clown go? Uh, is it him in the trunk? I don't want to touch it. It's a clown from a painting. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I don't... Oh, hey! You're my beloved friend. Beep, beep, beep. Brrr. If you want to hug me, try to catch me. Brrr, beep, beep. Uh, okay, I don't think that's the real Mr. Midnight. It looks like a robot, Mr. Midnight. The king likes drumming. Oh. I don't like this. Somebody wrote something here. Interesting. Yeah, uh, let's go back out. That was creepy as hell. Okay, it's time to stop taking the pills, I think. That's better. Um, hang on. So this room was, is much less creepier now. A red puppet and a serpent. A teddy and many other things. Let's talk to her. Hello. You see them. You do, right? What? See what? The creatures that follow everyone. The shadows? Uh, yeah, I kind of see them. Actually, I really do. Uh-huh, I can't see them, but I know they are there. You know what they are? Yeah, I guess. Well, do you want to share? I mean, that's why I'm asking you. Well, tell me, please. You like to draw. Uh, don't change the subject. I love to draw. Yeah, I, I, I love it too. But tell me more about the shadows. Crayon, a crayon. I want to find a crayon I draw all the time. I want to find my cat. We don't get what we want out of life. Draw a cat if you don't want one. I, it doesn't work like that. I could draw my cat, but I'd rather find him. Your cat is in danger. The shadows took him. I know. Who told you that? The one that follows me. Bye. Well, thanks for leaving me hanging like that. What's your name? Adelaide, Adelita Fugins. The patient was a victim of sexual abuse awe by an unknown person, which almost killed her. This man has created auditory hallucinations and taught disorder. Treatment. Dr. Marcel Dern has been close to the patient through drawings, therapy. She's making progress. Well, that sucks. Now I feel bad for her. This bed is very pink. Uh, that's my, my crayons. Can I have it? I just like this crayon so much. Can I have it? No, I won't be able to draw green then. That's ridiculous. But you have so many. Oh, that's true. But you have so many other colors. Yes, many colors. But you know, they don't like me drawing. Uh, who doesn't like you drawing? The nurses, they tie me up and when I want to draw, I can't. What the fuck kind of place is this? Uh, me too sometimes. Yes, they tie me up sometimes too. It hurts. When I can't draw, I hurt myself. Then comes the red milk. Look. Oh, shit. That sucks. Hey, uh, please cure me. Yes? And stop the red milk. Uh, yeah, uh, I actually got something for that. Uh, this. I, yeah, real, the nurses are not very nice apparently in this place. Oh, thank you. You can have the crayon. Now go. I have to draw. Well, thanks. I'll go. Don't worry. You, you don't have to throw me out or anything like that. Or say bye to me. Uh, so... Can I look on... Oh. And a hedge maze. Why? Why does this place do this? I don't know. Oh, hi, nurse. Huh. There you are. You should be in your room. The door was closed. You left it open. But you left it open. I'm sure it was not open. Bec I know because I locked it. Are you sure? You told me to go and eat. Hmm, did I? Hmm. Alright then, carry on. 
Well, thanks. I used your dementia to my own advantage. That's nice. Oh, what's ringing? The gate is very locked. What is all that beeping sound? Oh, this douchebag. Sir, the key hanging up there. Can I have it? Sure, I could give you the key if you give me a kiss. You should go kiss your butt, buddy. You sick bastard. What a bastard, you could kiss your butt. Yeah, tell that cock dragon how you feel, friend. So, I need that key. Damn. Oh, hello. Hey, what happens if I take the pill here? Oh. <laughs> He's a pig. The crunch of pig's head ready to be served. Ugh. Mr. Pig is naked. Well, he's a pig, so... I wonder what part of the body that is. Uh, it's a part of the body that's not supposed to be doing... ...that. But... Okay. Oh. Oh, Teddy. I will laugh at you. I will lie to you. I will hide you inside the shadows. Yeah, how about you don't do that? What is happening to Teddy? What are you doing here? And why are you bleeding? Okay, that's actually creepy as hell. Oh, what? The oh, shit, what the hell for did you do that for, man? Oh, no, they did it all wrong. They did. Uh. Whoa, whoa, what was that face? Elephant, sir, you, you are pink and soft. Oh, what are you doing to that girl? Wake up, Isabel, the black shadow is touching you. It is. Would you like to help me escape? I don't think they're gonna help. What about this demon? Look at me, I say I care while you're dying of hunger, hunger and thirst. Yeah, okay, stop, time to stop taking the pills. Cause... Creepy as fuck. Hey, Isabella, wake up. Isabel. He's gone, what about this kid? Hello, what are you doing? It doesn't work, the paper is not working. What do you mean? The paper should be working like they told me. What does the paper do? <laughs> I need the paper to show me what's on television! Uh... Why isn't it- Whoa, I see, but why isn't it working? The waves must be powerful. Change the channel, please. Uh, uh, you can't do that yourself? Like, you have hands. Ah! I- I, I don't know. Human testing approved. Yay. And... An ant. Uh, so hold on. Was that was that better? Does that work, buddy? It works. It works. A miracle. Thank you. Paper fresh and positive. Hey, yeah. Can I see it? Great. Can I see? No. This is mine. If you want, you can take the papers that didn't work. I suppose. Oh, thank you. I suppose I can use the paper bite or draw on. I'm busy. Paper revision in action. Okay, kid, you have fun with that. I'm gonna go take the paper. Now I can write or draw when I'm bored. Alright, well, I don't know how that helps us, but... Hey, uh... Hello, are you alright? What is that supposed to mean? It means, are you not whacked in the head? But... I can see that you are, so, you know. I wanted, I just wanted to know if you feel okay. I don't want to tell, the doctor will cut your head open if you don't leave. He likes to eat brains. He already took mine. He ate all of my thoughts. He ate your brain? He will eat yours too. I saw you inside the doctor's office. You were dead. Oh no, then I have to go. I hope you find you find your new thoughts. Bye. I don't think she's gonna find her new thoughts, friend. Ooh, cake. Hmm, I can use a cinnamon bun. <laughs> I can see the cinnamon bun melting in my mouth. Well, I mean, what about all this stuff? I wonder if the pasta was cooked today. Not by the look. <laughs> the salad looks fresh for once. Milky milk. I guess the carton is all sour like always. I already took one. What about this? Little lemonade. Hey, teddy bear. This, the sofa made to be sat on. What about here? Mr. Midnight, are you here? I suppose not. What did I pick up? I... It looks like I picked up something. Uh... Hmm. What have you have here? Chocolate, hmm. Yummy. The menu of the day. What about this clock? The grandfather clock is big and grand. Let's talk to the nurse. Hello. 
Oh, hello, friend. How are you today? Uh, let's not say what we really uh, are seeing. I'm fine. Glad to hear you're fine. Carry on now. Alright. That was very useful conversation. Very well, friend. Go play with your friends now. I'll, pl I'll play with this guy, I guess. Even though I don't really think he wants to. Are you here? I haven't seen you. No. Are you from downstairs? Uh-huh. They think I'm better now. What's your name? Could you please kill me? Please. Uh... Uh, I, I'm curious how to... Sure, bang, you're dead. Thank you. I can't talk now. I'm dead. I so enjoy our conversations there, Jason. Jason, wanna be a kid? Hey, you. Oh, why are you walking? What is this? Annie loves to drink the milk like a kitten. Uh, okay. What about all this crap? I don't want this. I'm not hungry. How about you, kid? Don't disturb me. Go away. I'm eating. Okay. Don't touch my sword! I didn't know it was yours. You should bow and speak clear to me. I'm your king. Yeah, why not? Let's indulge your little weird fantasy. Oh, I bow to you, sir. Very well, my child. What is the purpose of your visit? I actually want your cane. Yeah, I want your walking cane. What, walking king? Do you mean my sword? Yes, your highness, your sword. What will you give me in exchange? Anything you need, your highness. Bring me a castle and a horse. Only then I will grant you my sword. Uh, oh wait, the king likes drawings. He's a king. Can I... This? There we go, a horse on a, on a castle. Hey, kid, here. There you go, see, you have your horse and your castle, even though they're not real. Oh, that's beautiful, exactly what I dreamt of. You can take my sword now, it's yours. Well, thanks. Uh, yeah. That's good, I guess. The store is always locked at night, I can't go out and play. Well, yeah. Kinda expected that. No, oh, how little sparrow. Pretty bird, I like you. I like it too. Hey, kid, you okay? Hey, Annie, how are you? Aren't you afraid of me? Not really. No, why would I? Yeah. Because I can do magical tricks and make you sleepy. Oh, that's nice. Magical tricks, I didn't know you could. Show me. Show you? But it's very scary. It's better if you do it. I can't. I'm not a magician. I can give you the magical stuff. Really? Woo! I don't like the way that magical stuff sounds. Magical stuff will make anyone fall asleep. Ooh, that's amazing, powerful, and grand. Here, as a gift, take it slowly. Oh, if it's magical, if it's magical like my magical pills, I don't really want it, but okay. Alright, how does it work? I have no idea. Well, okay, Annie. Nice talking to you. Bye now. I don't like this ping. It feels like Mr. Oswald is staring at me. Well, yeah, it actually kind of is creepy as hell. So let's go back up. Hang on. What is this? Examine. Magical stuff to make anyone... Oh, it's a sleeping pill. Hang on. Combine magic stuff with cinnamon bun. Ooh, this is magical cake now. Sleepy, sleepy cake. I can maybe use that on the garden now, can I? Yeah, here's a kiss, buddy. You want it? Here. Here, have a roofie cake. <laughs> a cake? Look, a cake! Eat it! <laughs> eat it! <laughs> eat it! <laughs> Just eat it! Eat it! Eat it! No one wants to be roofied! Here, uh, please take it. It'll make your life a bit sweeter. I don't care if making my life leave. You don't want it? So you don't want it? No, now leave me alone. Well, that's really assaholic of you. Seriously, eat the cake. No, fine. Now we have... What a douchehole. Alright. 
Ooh. Oh, yeah. This pink sash is mine now. Oh, that's nice. Uh, can I combine it with this? With the pink sash? Yep. Prettier walking cane. Well, that's not my point. My point is, I want to combine this, too. Yep. Now I can reach high. I call this the Grabomatic 2000. <laughs> that's a very creative name right there. Yeah. Let's go back at it. Now we have to make that guard disappear. And not in a good way. Uh, I don't know how. Really thought that. Hey. I told Marcel about the latest delivery, but he hasn't looked at it yet. Well, he will catch up soon. Hey, Gladys, would you do me a favor? Sure, anything but bring the coffee to the guard. Why not? I can't do it because I have to take care of the children. I have other things to do myself. Sorry. Oh. Coffee to the guard, you say? I'll take it. Oh goodness, lovely fingers, this is hot coffee. Oh yeah. Now I know what to do. Here, have a coffee right in your face, you prick. Here, take it, you... Here's your hot, hot coffee, sir. <laughs> well, not on the face, but it still works. Look what you did, you insane orphan bitch. You did that on purpose, no shit. Now I have to go and change. God, it's burning like hell. Don't go anywhere, you little shit. Bye, dickwit. Don't come back again. And now I can use this with that. Yeah, I got you. Now I can unlock the office. There we go. Yay. Well, what do we do in this creepy ass office? The yellow typewriter. Uh, what about this book? No pictures or funny riddles. Well, you still you should still check it out. Uh, um, the doctor ate an apple. What about this key? It's always good to carry an extra key. It is, yeah, I agree. Patient files. Ooh, I love to open mail, but this is not for me. Well, this office is not yours either, but you're in it. I really don't know what this is. It's a vent. What about all this crap? Dr. Marcel, turn off the alarm. Oh, I, I didn't read it. I didn't click on it. Oh, I've seen this before. What does it mean? There's a pentagram. An interview with Dr. Dearn about working with children. Testing day. Every day is testing day. What a lovely painting. I wish I could draw like that. I wonder what people do at those gatherings. I don't know. Hang on. It says something about October and November. I guess we're in October now. Huh. You're not alone. Join us today. Oswald Asylum. Yeah, it's a very nice place that looks like Alcatraz and shit. So, oh. Phil? A forgotten girl with no family or cat will die when the moon arrives. What do you mean? What are you doing, kid? Uh, open. Alright, Phil, please let me out. What, what if I take the pills? Oh. Oh, I have so much guts. Oh, thank you for opening that. Oh, that girl looks a bit like me. It, it looks a lot like you. Even though your eyes are open, you can't understand. Well, I don't really want to understand, so I'm going to be leaving you alone. Thanks, bye. Oh. Ooh, the wind hole. I guess this is my way back. I wonder if Phil knew about this. Well, considering that he did it, uh, probably not. I mean, he tried to lock us in here. Oh. Oh, that rat really hit its head. I should give it a helmet. I think it's fine, Fran. Don't worry. Rats have been falling for, like, centuries. And they've always been fine. And there are always so many of them. I'll just keep going and going. Uh, there's a hole there, Fran. Y you might not want to keep going and going. Ouch. Ah! Oh, we're in the basement. Hello. Oh, dear. Where am I now? I guess I'll have to find out. Uh, I'm assuming it's not a very nice place. A mop that will dance on the floor! <laughs> no, it won't. A mop that- another mop that will dance on the floor, apparently. Alright, a water t no water to wash my hands. Huh, cleaning products. They should clean our toilets. They should, but I'm guessing they don't, huh? There's nothing under the blanket. Oh, there's something under this blanket? The box is open, let me see. What did I get? I, I, wait, I got a note. Uh, examine. Now I can examine that, good. 
Turn off the alarm from the security panel and the reception. The yellow door will remain open for two minutes until the alarm reactivates. Alarm code. December 17. Equals something. I think it says 21. And July 25 equals... 31. Huh. Okay, I have no idea what the hell that, any of that means. Um, so... Uh, can, you really don't want to grab the mops, huh? Did, did I pick up whatever what's in this box? I don't think I did. Oh, there we go. Oh, Dorothy. Scrape label. Hmm. The patient 25062220915000 is our current target. Target response is positive. Now expanding the triggered gland. Ectoplamatin dose up 17 mill millisecond milligrams. Now change change the container. Uh, so it looks like an approved variant of duty. What child? Who wrote this? Okay, some freaky shit is going on here. Yellow pills, huh? They look more fun than the red ones. Hmm, bad pills. I just take them to find my kitty. I could take it and taste it, but I don't want to. So, okay, some very weird shit is going on down here. No water to wash my hands. What about this rag? No? You don't want it? Cleaning supplies. Hmm, maybe I should get out of here. Alright, wait, hold. This pipe was. Now I can't go back. Is where I fell from. It's locked. Hmm, I wonder if this key would. An extra key. I got it from the office. Does it work? Oh, it does work. Oh! What the fuck? If you struggle, you will know that it was I. I will be in every corner to make you suffer and cry. If you choose to disobey, your cat's life will be marked. You, if you hurt Mr. Midnight, I swear to like all that is all- I swear to all gods and goddesses, I will kill you. Oh, my dear kitty. We'll be soon- we'll soon be together again, I promise. I miss you, my dear. I miss you so much. Aww. Aww. Why are you leaving? Please don't leave me alone, Mr. Midnight. Uh, Mr. Midnight, come back. Oh, the hedge maze. Are you in the hedge maze? At the end of the maze, Fran. I'm gonna go to the maze now. I'm gonna have to go there now. Oh, shit. That's... And I'm back to square one. Let's get up. I fainted again. I wonder if my dreams are true. The monster won't let me go home. But if I find the maze, maybe I can find Mr. Midnight. Hey, so what about the pills? If I take the pills in this place? Oh. Oh, holy shit. Lies in a box. What about, what, about, what about the medicine now? It, it didn't change at all, so... Uh, Alright. We can stop taking the pills now. Because... <laughs> that really sucked. Ooh, what is this? Psychiatric ward? Oh. Take the pills. Don't take the pills. The operating room. I don't want to go inside. It smells like rotten flesh. Ugh. Yeah. Uh, so that... Oh, that was the door that was supposed to be upstairs. So I did go all the way around. You did. Do I want- Oh. Yes, I attacked a new one upstairs. Fran Bo? No, I haven't seen her. What? The key to the cellar? Well, no. In the doctor's office? You used to have the key there. Calm down, the key is not here. Sure, I'll let you know if it turns up, but you must calm down. Yes, I'll bring it to you if I find it, alright? Bye. Oh my goodness, I can't believe this. I'm at the reception already, this is grand. So I need to go out of the that- Door. Hmm. Oh, hang on. The key holder has no keys to hold. So if I put the key here, there we go. And now we stop having the. That took me a long time to figure out. Oh, the key was here after all. I better take it back. That took me a little too long to figure it out, man. Okay, so now she's gone. We can, uh. Yeah, we don't have to do anything in here. What about this? Many folders and books. Now we have to figure out the puzzle for this thing. So, what was it saying? It was... Um, December 17 and July 25. Hang on, if I do 12 plus 17, that's gonna be 29. If I do 7 plus 25, that's gonna be 32. So is it... 29, 32, maybe? Hopefully this will work. 
Oh, there we go. Yes, I'm the best. The very best. So, go away, nurse. Now we go out. Oh, no. Alarm. Alarm. Now we run. You little bitch. I will make you pay for what you did. Whoa, what the? Oh. Oh, uh, you clever little girl. Do you think you can just leave? Oh. What? It can't be. No. Uh, so, first of all. Hey, Mr. Midnight. Hi. Thanks for coming to my rescue. Uh, or... I guess? And... Uh, I need to get out of the maze. I need to get to the maze. I... Don't worry, Mr. Midnight. I'm following you. I'm following you, robot Mr. Midnight. Oh, he's not dead. Uh, it looked like he was, you know. Once the person gets incapulated, they would maybe die, but... Guess not. Oh, hang on. I'm coming. Nope. Stop! Robot my midnight! Stop! Hold uh, uh Going, going, going! Hang on! Stop! Stop! Slow down! I wanna f find Mr. Midnight! Uh oh, hey, how about we don't touch the shade? Is that a good idea? Oh no, no it is not a good idea! See I told you, Mr. Midnight, you'll let me to my death! <laughs> Why would you do that, Mr. Midnight? Alright, hold on. Now we know to avoid that thing, at least. As if I shouldn't... I probably should kind of figure it out that I should. But Mr. Midnight... The robot Mr. Midnight was... Leading me to my... Doom. Alright, robot Midnight. So, sneak behind that thing. Oh, can't sneak behind that thing. Uh, shit. What do I... Oh, what do I do? What, uh, why is it why is it all filled with demons? Oh. Oh man, this is gonna be bad. I I'm kinda lost now too. Cause Mr. Midnight's gone. Like he he he's gone. Uh maybe here? I'm kinda hoping that he might actually Oh no. Hey, robot man, midnight, where where'd you go? I hear ya! I hear you, buddy! Where'd you go? But the question is, where the hell did you go? Uh... Shit. Hang on. Let's wait for this dude. Go away. Yeah, there you go. I heard... Damn it! Hang on. Go, 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 go! Okay. Am I going the right way, or am I totally lost? Alright, now we're through. Not sure. I, I lost the robot midnight, obviously. Hang on. Hide here. Will, will that work? Oh no. Hang on. Hide. We have to play a little stealth. Oh, good. Alright, now we go. Uh. Oh, is that it? I, I, I see the arrow. Oh, I found my way out! Yay, at the end of the maze you will find... A demon? More demons, the evil critters of all of the night. Uh... So that's bad, they will hunt you, they will laugh. But Mr. Midnight will save me, but there will always be a good side. Mr. Midnight! Ah, a cat full of nuts and bolts. Uh, I was looking for a real cat, but okay. We'll always be your guide. What? Oh. The picture. Oh, no. The picture's gone. Damn you, demons. You took my picture. Damn you all. Chapter 2, Part 1, Curiosity Symptoms. And that's where I'm gonna cut it, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm really enjoying Frambo so much right now. Um, and I will definitely keep playing it. But I hope you guys enjoyed it. And thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!